Hello guys, how are we doing? Today I have a favourites video. I can't remember the last time I filmed one of these. Hmm. I used to try and do one a month, but I'm sure I haven't done one for a few months now. Anyway, I was going to go through the items that I'm loving at the moment and items I'm loving while being confined at home as we all are. So I thought I'd share the things that I'm loving and they might give you a bit of inspo for some things and you know, you know how it goes. So I'm going to start with beauty items. I'm not going to do fashion because I haven't I haven't been in a fashionable items. This is the most fashionable thing and I've just noticed how dark my under top vest top is. This is the most fashionable I've been for predominantly a month, I don't know. I've been wearing pyjamas, joggers, the same hoodie every day. So I'm not gonna go there on the fashion side of things, there's no point. But beauty side of things, I've been trying to look after myself a bit more. So I'll show you a few items there. And then, yeah, some other bits and bobs. So let's get started with that. You may be able to hear the kids in the garden because it's a nice day today and I've escaped for five minutes, 10 minutes. 15 minutes to film this video and Ian's jet washing all of the garden that's the action he's jet washing because tomorrow is meant to be a very very lovely day so yeah I'm gonna have a garden day tomorrow I think so for beauty stuff I'm gonna start with the body shop seaweed oil balancing toner the last time I went to the body shop I stocked up on a three for two and I bought a couple of other things that I always use and I thought, oh, I'll try this, this is something different. So it's an oil balancing toner, just to use after you've cleansed your face. And I really like it, it feels really nice and fresh. And it doesn't feel like mattifying. I don't like an oil balancing toner that kind of leaves you feeling matte. Because I know, like, in theory, that's a good thing. If you're oily and then you feel matte, it's much better. But I don't know, I just kind of don't really like a really matte feel to my skin. Whereas this kind of gives like a nice kind of in-between kind of feel to it. It's nice and fresh. So yeah, I do really like that one. I also picked up the tea tree one as well, which again, I love. I love the tea tree range at the body shop and the Himalayan mask, which I always talk about, but I do love that too. So yep, that's the first one. And then this one, which I mentioned in my last vlog, I say the last vlog, the last vlog that I filmed and I don't know when it's gonna go up next, but Yes, when you see it again, you'll be like, oh yeah, that's what she was talking about. And it is an antipodes, antipods, antipodes, antipodes, that's how you say it. Baptized H2O Ultra Hydrating Water Gel. Now my normal moisturiser is the Moisture Surge, which is like a really kind of light gel texture. And this is the same, it's the same kind of texture here. Now the reason I've got this is, this was a gifted item. So I wouldn't have bought this because I normally use my Clinique Moisture Surge, so I wouldn't have gone out to buy it. But now that I've tried it, I'll go out and buy it, you know what I mean? Because oh, it's it's the same texture as the Moisture Surge, which I love, it's like a gel, but this smells amazing. Oh, it smells like rose and something else and Manuka honey. Ah, oh, I just love it. It's quite a strong scent. I've just got it on my nose, so I'm going to be smelling it all day now. So if you don't like strong scented items I'd steer clear of this but if you like a light moisturizer that sinks in quickly but you want to feel like you're kind of treating yourself at the same time like, oh this is nice oh then this is a good one because it does moisturize it's not too heavy and it smells delightful it is very hydrating but not claggy for oily skin so yes I do really love that one. Oh Siri what are you saying not saying anything Next one is the Molten Brown Rosa Absolute. I think I've got a thing for rose at the moment. Here we go. It's over halfway gone and we've been using it for a while. Me and Ian both use this every day. And again, oh, it just bubbled on my nose. My nose is getting it today. Oh, it smells delightful. I would say that out of rose competition, that one's more rosy, whereas this one's more rose scented. There is a difference. I know what I'm talking about. I hope you do too. That's more like proper rose oil, whereas this one's more like rose scented, but still nice. Mm. Yeah, it's a bit weird when you do it side by side like that, actually. Mm. Mm. Still nice though, and absolutely love it. Bought a set of three of the Molten Brown shower gels, and we're still on the first one, and we've still got loads to go. So they are expensive, but they are long lasting, and they smell like. 
Okay, that's it for beauty. Next thing is, oh, okay, I'm just going to have to say it because it's something that I have been focused on while I've been at home and that's my whole crystal -y type thing and I've been really enjoying pottering about with my crystals so yeah like oh, like this I just, oh, I just like coming into my office having to play with my crystals and yeah playing shop basically in my office like like that there you go lovely oh, oh I like this one oh nice oh this is pretty that kind of thing I know I'm sad but then I've been trapped in the house for a month or so so I'm allowed to go a bit crazy so I just had to say that I'm taking part in a collaboration with Discover Her which is the business women thing that I've mentioned in the past that I'm a part of they're doing a pop-up with other small businesses run by women and it's just for one day and everyone's given like a really good discount or a freebie or something and yeah you've basically got to sign up and then you'll get the whole list of all the businesses and all of the discount codes it's free all you have to do is pop in your email address and then you get sent the list so I put a link down below so you can go and click that and sign up because you're going to get some really great discounts it's like jewellery fashion home decor crystals loads of stuff so it's worth doing i'm giving away let me just grab it i'm giving away a pack a chakra pack of tumble stones like this oh amazing i want that freebie sign up then yay so when you make a purchase you'll get this for free so i've been basically making up my little packs of freebies i've been making new product ideas and oh, just yeah that's predominantly crystallized my life it would definitely help out the small businesses at the moment just to go and have a mooch and even if you're not going to buy anything i think just interacting with small businesses and following their social media and interacting basically at the moment helps definitely okay next item book pinch of nom so this is a light recipe book so every recipe is under 400 calories i've been enjoying reading it and not cooking yeah it's fun just to read a low calorie book and then make a bit of it and then add a load of mash with it or something i'm trying though and i'm really enjoying trying out some of the recipes it just gives you some great ideas for low calorie meals and yeah just i think sometimes you just need a bit of inspiration Sometimes you flick through it and go, oh yeah, that one. I haven't thought of that. I can do that. I can make that. Young chow fried, I mean, look at that. That looks lush. It looks quite simple as well. Rice with bits in it. Special fried rice. Special fried rice. I can do that. I can do it for 400 calories as well. The good thing is the kids would eat a lot of the stuff that's in this book too. So if you're looking for some inspiration of low calorie meals, this is a good one. I think at the moment when you can't really get out much and move much, Low calories probably a wise option. It's hard though, isn't it? You're like, I'm bored. Give me the biscuits, you know? But gotta try. And this is a good tool for that. Next up, we've been watching a lot of telly. Surprise, surprise. So I thought I'd just tell you what we've been watching. Number one, Sopranos. I think most people have watched it. If you haven't, it's definitely worth watching. Loads of series, loads of episodes. So if you want something that's gonna last, for a good while, Sopranos is a good one. It's like gangstery kind of, <laughs> gangstery kind of. Well, I think we all know Sopranos, don't we? But anyway, yeah. So there's that one. Then we've been watching The Tiger King. That's been on social media loads. So it's about um, big cat keepers in the United States, and oh, the <laughs> all the stuff that happens between all these various people. So they all have their own big cat zoo or whatever they call it wildlife thing and there's lots of conflict basically and it's quite entertaining you may have seen it on social media people talking about it but it's a good one to watch you'd be surprised on what goes on with in the world of big cats it's a lot more than just about the cats let's just put it that way there's murder involved for example another good one is the ozark and series three i went like that three series three has just come out so we're gonna watch that one it reminds me of breaking bad where kind of like normalish people get involved in other things so money laundering basically so if you like breaking bad then i i personally think it's like a similar kind of thing to that a normalish family 
going about their normal stuff and then yeah they get involved in money laundering and then there's the whole world attached to that am i good at describing programs i don't think i am but look out for that that's a good one let me know your netflix or series suggestions we do like to watch a series i think most people like to do that now and watch it like back to back don't they just sit there and go yep 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 next thing again which i've put in another vlog which is probably up by now i don't know is my candle making slash melt making so if you haven't seen that video or haven't put it up yet i bought a wax melt kit and i made some wax melts so i had like all the bits and bobs in this kit for example a pack of soya wax i got the essential oil i got a thermometer and a mold and i made my own melts and they're okay they came out okay but it's really kind of spurred me on to be more creative and making more things so i've got another half of this pack to make so in this i might as well show you this pack it looks a bit of a mess because i've raided it you get two packs of 500 grams of soy wax you get a jug you get you get a mold with little hearts which is down there that's helpful you get two pots of essential oils that's an orange and you get a lavender as well there's a thermometer which i got wax all over helpful and then other bits and bobs in there too so i got this kit off of ebay for i think it was 19 pounds but you can make a hell of a lot of wax melts out of it i've got loads on the go at the moment i have to say this one is kitty's candle kits and i've really enjoyed playing around with that and yeah spurred me on to make my own make some more as well the next batch that i'm going to do is orange the whole idea behind this was i was going to make melts and then pop some crystals inside so i'm still experimenting at the moment so if you're looking for something to do something like a, a new hobby or an interest making wax melts or making candles is actually really fun so have a look on ebay there's loads of different kits that you can choose from i think that's it for my favorites at the moment i really wanted to come on and just say hi as well because i haven't been on youtube much i'm hoping that um the next week or so i can make more videos because ian is on holiday for a few days next week so i should be able to film some more things it's really tricky when you've got two small kids because you think oh we've got all this time but then that's just more time for me to entertain them <laughs> it's not like i've got more free time there is no more free time um there's just more time there's more time of trying to entertain the kids and educate them and keep them busy and keep them well so yeah even though we're at home loads doesn't mean i've got more free time to do stuff but like i said ian is taking a few days off next week so yeah hopefully i can get a few more vids on i'll leave it here for today thank you for watching and i'll see you in my next video which is probably going to be a vlog and then i have to do the q a because loads of you are like yeah do a drunk q a yeah so it's my birthday next week so maybe i'll do it on that day because we're bound to have a little drink to celebrate my birthday so I'll probably film it then. Yeah, good idea. I'm going to do it then. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next time. See you in the next time. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.